Hello, thank you for joining me today for Give Him 15. The title of today's post is Unraveling the Schemes of the Enemy. I mentioned, <coughs> excuse me, I mentioned the word luo in yesterday's post. Y'all want to be Greek scholars and keep reading these posts and listening. What I stated regarding this subject is vitally important. I want to pick up on it again today. In review, I said, an interesting word is used in 1 John 3, 8 that adds insight into what happened at the cross. The verse reads, For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Destroy is the Greek word luo, which has both legal and physical meanings. Understanding its full definition will greatly enhance our knowledge of what Jesus did to Satan and his works. The legal meaning, by the way, I think this one's the most important. The legal meaning of luo is to pronounce or determine that something or someone is no longer bound. Secondly, to dissolve or void a contract or anything that legally binds. Jesus came to dissolve the legal hold Satan had over us and to pronounce that we are no longer bound by his works. He voided the contract, breaking Satan's dominion over us. The physical meaning of Uro is to dissolve, melt, break, beat something to pieces, untie something that's bound. In Acts 27 41, the boat Paul traveled on was broken into pieces, Luo, by the force of the storm. Second Peter 3 10 12, we're told that one day the elements of the earth will melt or dissolve Luo from a great heat. It's very significant to know that Jesus used this same word, Luo, to describe what we, the church, are to do through spiritual warfare. Matthew 16, 19 tells us, I'll give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The word loose is this, in this verse, is luo. So, did Christ luo the works of the devil? Or do we luo the works of the devil? The answer is yes. Although Jesus fully accomplished the task of breaking Satan authority and voiding his legal hold on the human race, Someone on earth must represent him in that victory and enforce it. Satan is a thief and a trespasser. The fact that he has no legal right or authority to do something doesn't keep him from doing it. Only the authority of Christ combined with the power of Holy Spirit stops him from doing so. And both of those flow from or through us, the church. In Christ's name, he releases authority, and Holy Spirit backs this up with his power. In all spiritual warfare, always remember that our responsibility is not to redefeat Satan. People talk about defeating him and warring against him and, and destroying his work or defeating him. No. In all spiritual warfare, always remember that our responsibility is not to redefeat Satan, but to enforce his defeat. My confidence increased dramatically in the context of binding, loosing, wrestling with principalities and powers, pulling down strongholds, etc., when I finally understood understood spiritual warfare as enforcing the victory of Calvary. Now, more about Luo. After
after writing yesterday's post, I thought about, was just thinking about the incredibly evil plans being implemented in America. As I did so, I heard Holy Spirit say, it is all coming unraveled. I knew he wanted to give me more insight regarding this, so I began studying, only to find that Holy Spirit had more to reveal regarding this word, luo. When I looked up the Greek word for unraveled, remember he said it's all coming unraveled. When I looked up the Greek word for unraveled, my lexicons led me to Ana Lucis, which they said comes from the root word luo, translated as destroy, 1 John 3, 8, and Lucis, Matthew 16, 19. It's fairly easy to see why. When the strands of a rope come loose, remember binding, loosing, luo, when the strands of a rope come loose, they are unraveling. The word and analysis is also derived from analusis, which is easily seen from its spelling, analysis, analusis. Analyzing a situation is breaking loose its components or disassembling them, unraveling the strands so that we understand the situation more clearly. Analysis. As I read this, I heard Holy Spirit say, as the church has been releasing Christ's authority, luring the plans of Satan in America, it has enabled me to unravel Analusis and expose his plans. God is indeed exposing Satan's schemes and plans Americans are beginning to see just how corrupt our government has become. They see the two-tiered system of justice. They are observing the insanity of plans to remove our borders, destroy our families and children, distort our history, steal our nation. They see the dishonesty and deceit. They are coming to grips with the disheartening and horrifying truth that for many of our leaders, votes and power mean more than the lives of the American people. The corruption is all being unraveled, enabling the American people to analyze what is truly happening. The truth is painful but necessary. And throughout this year, 2024, the process will intensify. The revelations will be amplified and Americans will not like what they see. This is all part of God's deliverance process. America is receiving her MRI. That which is hidden on the inside is being revealed. And the level of revelation will increase. We asked for this, and it is occurring. Exposing the cancer of sin, eating away at the life of our nation. Keep praying. Do as Jesus instructed us in Matthew 16. Bind the plans of the enemy. Loose, dissolve, untie, unravel his evil schemes. Do as he instructed us in Matthew 6. Command his kingdom rule, Christ's kingdom rule into our land. Command his will to be done. Ask Christ to pour out his spirit to bring life to America's dry bones and heal our land. Ask him for revival, the great ingathering, and for the transforming of our nation. Yes, Grieve over what Holy Spirit is exposing, but don't be discouraged as you witness it. Be encouraged that we are getting a proper diagnosis 
in order to receive the cure. Don't allow the shaking to shake you. Determine to keep praying and standing in faith that America shall be saved. Decree it daily. Your prayers are saving our nation and releasing salvation to a billion people around the world. Now think about that. That's a fact. Those two things are true. Our prayers are saving this nation and releasing a revival that's going to bring a billion souls into the kingdom. Never stop. Let's pray. Father, thank you for answering our prayers, for exposing and revealing the true condition of our nation, even though it is painful and grievous to see. We ask you to continue unraveling the evil schemes, structures, and plans. Show us where Satan has entrenched himself in our nation. Reveal his schemes and tentacles. Enlighten us to what must be repented of. Root out evil at all levels and go deep. And even as we pray against the evil, we ask for the salvation of those who are deceived and partnering with the evil one. Help us to remember that you love the lost, that your mercy is great. Just how powerful of a cleansing agent is the blood of Jesus. Keep us from the sins of pride and stone-throwing Deliver those who are deceived and walking in darkness. Open their eyes to truth and the gospel. Soften hard hearts. Do these things here and around the world. We also pray again today for the protection of our family, our family members and leaders. We pray for Justice Thomas and all those on the court that every scheme to take their lives would fail, and every deceitful plan to assassinate their character would be exposed. And we pray for Donald Trump's protection from physical harm and judicial injustice. Unravel that as you are. Turn it all for good. We pray for the protection of our water resources and structures and for protection from all forms of terrorism. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus. And our decree, we decree that the unraveling of, the, of evil schemes in America will continue that darkness will be exposed and truth will prevail. Amen. Amen. Well, and by the way, I used this on Flashpoint last night. That's what he's doing, unraveling. Thank you for joining me today. Keep praying. It still works, and I will see you.